Hello everybody, this is Husky10. Um, it is 6 a.m. I have been up for a little over 12 hours, so I'm still kind of sleepy. Um, I decided to create a tutorial on how to make your player shoot. This can be used for space games, this can be used for asteroids, this can be used for anything. But we're gonna you we're gonna actually create another game. So I already have my player set up um in this G develop. I added I created a new scene. I added player I added the top down behavior to it. I unchecked all of these um, but I'm gonna start from scratch and show you guys how I do it. So, let's create, let's start with movement. So, new group. I'm gonna call this player movement. So, player, when, so we're gonna say when key pressed. We're going to say left. Um, we want the p to simulate movement, so simulate left key. So we're going to do that again, key pressed. We're going to do the right one this time. I'm actually going to use this project to remake one of my old games, so look forward to that. But anyway, so we're going to have it move simulate left. No, wait. No, we want it to simulate right. So now you have a player that will move left and right. So let's get to shooting. Add a new group. We're going to call this shooting. So we already have a bullet. You want to create a bullet. Um, I'm going to edit this. I'm going to just uh, eh, draw a square. Color it red and save. Hit apply. Um, I'm also going to edit the points. Um, there used to be a way to just edit points. I'm just gonna do it like that, but anyway, apply, and we have our bullet. Now, we're going to add a new event, add a condition. We're going to say key pressed. We're going to say space. A lot of shooting games for PC use space. So we are going to create object. Um, we're going to say player dot X. And player dot y and hit OK. Now, so when keep you get this, but we don't want that. So we want 
to say what what was it um add add force um it's going to be using the y-axis the y-axis is up and down so we're going to say 1000 and this one is and the x-axis is going to be set to zero so let's see how that is for some reason that's not working You're going to want to play with this. Oh, it's going down. So maybe negative. So, okay. Now, we also want to tell the object to go to the position equals play player dot x and player dot y hit okay let's see what happens okay we broke the game <laughs> um let me edit this Oh, edit collision mask. Use a custom mask. Okay, close and apply. Um, we're also going to edit points. I'm going to put these points back to where they were. Okay, hit apply. Okay, for some reason this ain't working. Um, oh, equals, that's still not working. Oh, permanent force. And we have a bullet. Okay, so let's recap on what I did. I mapped out the player controls. Left, simulate left. Right key to simulate right key. I On space, it will create a bullet at player.x and player.y. Um, we added a permanent force with a zero speed on the x-axis and a thousand speed on the y-axis. Now we also wanted it to follow the player so we set equals to player.x and equals player.y. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to type in trigger once while true. There we go. You can edit this a little bit more. Um, I'm going to add one more thing, which is I'm going to change the Z order equals to zero. And it's behind the player. We can also play sound. Let me check my sound effects library. Uh, laser 2. I'm going to set the volume to 40. We don't want it to repeat, so. And we have 
a shooting player. There's a lot we can do with this. We can add a new group. I'm going to add a new group. And I am going to add a new. I'm going to add an enemy. I'm going to name this enemy. Hit apply. Um, what I'm about to use. The method I'm about to use. I had to do two things. I had to problem solve and I had to look up a tutorial. So if you guys can figure out a different way to do this, good good jobs to you. So I'm going to add a condition. I'm going to set a timer. Oh. One thing good about enemies is I'm going to have to um, create a new color. Hit apply. Um, so we're gonna add add a timer. Value of a timer for the enemy. Um, we're gonna call it spawn. Um, we're gonna set it to two seconds. Hit okay. Now we want it to create an object create the enemy position we want to be ran on the x position we want it to be random um we can have it at 750 and the y position is going to be negative 50 Um, there we go. Okay, now we also want to add in, we also want to reset the timer. So reset, start to reset the enemy timer, name spawn. Now, the YouTuber that I watched didn't have to drag in the enemy but for some reason it wouldn't work without me dragging the enemy off screen so we're going to add force add an enemy we're going to add a force of zero speed on the x-axis and on the y a negative hmm, let's say 400 we want to be an instant Force. For some reason, it's not working. So let's boost it up. Um, You're going to have to play around and tweak it. Um, the YouTube I used, I found, said it would work at a 90 degree angle. And the speed could be 500 or so it's still not working we don't know I don't know what the problem is oh it's going the wrong way so Set it to 90. That's too fast. Um, I'm going to move this out of the screen. Uh, let's say 100 pixels. Let's 
let's say 50. I'm going to also add an at. I'm going to see what happens if I add an at the beginning of the screen. I mean, of the scene. Let's set this to 500. This is something you're going to have to play around with. Um, I'm going to set it to 100 and get rid of this. That's still kind of fast. Oh, I think... All right, that's better. I'm gonna boost it up though to maybe 400. And we have better enemies. For some reason it's only showing up at the same area though. But whatever, it works. So I'm going to go into game settings, properties. Okay, I already did that. Um, now, in the shooting, we're going to add a new event. And say when the bullet is in collision with enemy, we're going to delete the enemy. And we're going to delete the bullet. Okay, I might have said it a little too fast. Okay, I'm going to set, I'm going to lower this to 300, no, 200, you're going to have to play around with this. Okay, some, for some, alright, I'm going to add, and I'm going to add a behavior. And I'm going to say destroy if off screen. Now for some reason it's not working. Let's see what happens if I delete that. It's working for some reason. And now it stopped. Um There's some stuff you can do to change this. For instance, I'm going to change this to one second. This seems to be working a little better. I'm going to turn this prototype into a bat, into 
I'm gonna remake one of my games, so this will hopefully become part of it. Um, now I'm gonna play a sound. I'm gonna add another sound, and it's going to be an explosion. This is a nice little arcade game. So okay, we have a problem with our current game. The game works fine. But the problem is, if you collide with an enemy, Nothing happens. You're in God mode. So what we're going to do is create a new scene. Rename it Game Over. And let's call it, let's color it black. At least I'm going to color it black. You can color it whatever you like. I'm gonna add a title. I'm gonna say game over. I'm gonna color it red. I'm gonna choose a font that I downloaded. You can choose any font. Um You can now in the game. I'm also gonna tweak one thing the volume of the explosion is too high, so 40. Okay. There we go. Um. Now this shooting game is very basic, but anyway, I'm going to call this, I'm going to create a new group, call it Game Over. I'm going to add a new condition, I'm going to say when the player is in collision with enemy, change the scene. So change scene to Game Over. So now let's see what happens. We hit the enemy, game over. You can do whatever you like um, with this game. You can add lives, you can add a score. Um, I do show in some of my tutorials how to add a score. Um, but let's add one anyway. So I'm gonna add a text I'm gonna call it score color it in something visible so like that um, I'm gonna choose the same font hit apply I'm gonna drag it into my screen here now I'm gonna go into prop Game settings, global variable, I'm going to add one and I'm going to call it score. And I'm going to put it down to zero. Hit apply. So, right here when the bullet is in collision with enemy, I'm going to add a condition, add an action. I'm going to go to other actions, select variable, select global variable. Value of a global variable score plus, and I'm going to add one. Now we're going to add a new condition, but we're not we're not going to put anything in the condition side. 
we're going to put something in the action we're going to select our text and then modify text to equal to our score so I'm gonna I'm gonna click this button go down to variable text of a global variable score hit apply hit ok now we have <coughs> a working score <laughs> and we have a working game you can do a lot with this um you can add a reset button you can add a restart button, you can add a quit button, um, there's just so much you can do with this, um, I'm gonna change this up so it's a little more ver visible, I'm gonna change it to red, I'm gonna change the character color to red, no, not red, blue save and I'm going to change the properties and I'm going to change it to black hit ok see I already died I am terrible at my own video game so have fun with this. Do whatever you like. Um, for instance, I'm I'm gonna add a sprite. So, do I have a space? Um. You can you can change it to whatever you want. Um, I actually downloaded from a site a space pack. No, I want to delete that. Um, I delete. I um downloaded a space pack from the site um that I used in my platformer tutorial. For instance, there's the spaceship. Um, I can change the enemy sprite. Here's the enemy ship. this as an asteroid game you can do whatever you like um i'm also going to change see if it has something for the bullet uh, it has a satellite. we can make it shoot a star Oh! <laughs> 
Better. This looks like a lot better game if it would stop doing that. Um. I think the reason that happened is because the player does it faster than it can respawn. Um, I'm not sure how to solve this issue. There's gotta be a way to solve it, but you're gonna have to play around with it. Um... Let's see what that does. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Because occasionally it will play. See, like now it won't work. Like I said, what I think is, is you're shooting stuff more than what can spawn. Holy cow! Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm I'm gonna stick with one second. Um, what happens if I do that? Like I said, at this point, I'm just tweaking and playing around. What the hell? I'm just seeing what happens if I... I'm just seeing what happens if I change certain things. For instance, let's see what happens when we type in 800. Yeah, I, like I said, I have no idea how to fix that. Um... What the hell? The tutorial I went off of didn't really have a problem. But play around with it. See if you can fix it. Half of programming and half of game development is seeing what bugs. <laughs> is seeing if you have any bugs and. <laughs> so there we go. There you go, a game that, a game that for the most part works. If it doesn't stop spawning for some reason. watching in a future video hopefully I will have that bug fixed but for now I think it's fine so thank you for watching